hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we would be looking into how to download the large language models locally on your machine and use them as your coding assistant so let's get started so first we would be looking into our agenda just to make clear just to make the things clear okay so the first is downloading olama so what is olama and why to download it so Olama is basically a package manager for LLMs, the large language models. Via the Olama, what you can do is you can basically download any open source model, large language model available. You don't need to add any configurations from your own. It's just downloading the model via Olama and using it straight away. Okay, so for that, let's get started. You can click the download button and the application would be downloaded in your local machine after the application is downloaded you can open it okay so this is basically a GUI Olama provides you can send a message to configured model so right now there is no any model the LLM model downloaded on your machine so even if you select any model and type in hi what happens is it will prompt you that it is downloading a model so we don't want to download it uh, right away okay so the main intention is what we are using and how it's being used so for that we'll go to the olama.com again visit the models tab you can find multiple models here we can read the descriptions also for the specific model right now we would be downloading deep seek coder so this is it why deep seek coder because initially we the agenda was to download the model that can be used as a ai coding assistant so this is the model which is like a good uh, which is like basically uh, trained on some good parameters and it can output a good code so that is the simple motive below here you can see there are 1.3b 6.7b and 33b what are these b and what are the numbers okay so these are basically parameters 1.3 billion parameters 6.7 billion parameters 33 billion parameters every llm model has their own parameters from which they are trained on so the number of parameters the larger the number of parameters means the better the model is okay so that is the scale which you can use to what do you say compare the performance between various models so right now we would be going with 1.3 billion parameter model why because there are some system requirements and limitations for every uh, parameters uh, for every model basically and the associated parameters 1.3 billion parameters corresponds to the number of size uh, it is so basically when you run a llm model on your local machine your device storage ram is getting used and for that if you exceed your ram uh, uses so your laptop or your machine whatever you're using a desktop would uh, not be able to run that and it would be inefficient so the short part is download the model which is in your uh, hardware requirements or limitations so for that a uh, deep seek model we are downloading it the olama gives a command called olama run deep seek coder what happens is if you copy this command open the terminal paste it if the model is not downloaded on your local machine it will start downloading okay so i'll just copy it hit enter hitting enter we should understand or we should see if olama is downloaded or not as we have downloaded it prior still we'll check olama hyphen hyphen version so if it is downloaded you can see the version if it is not then you need to tweak some things okay so for that right now it is downloaded correctly we'll just clear it 
and uh, okay we need to copy that uh, terminal command again paste it and enter so what happens now is the deep sea coder was already downloaded on your machine on my machine so it does not download again it just runs the model so by that you can see end a message uh, prompt so we are not ending it we're just starting it so we can see hi deep seek coder so it states hi how are you and the stuff so what happens is all this is on your local machine it is not using any internet so the model is not making any request externally okay so that is the main part of downloading the llms locally and using them so yeah so all set we have downloaded the olama package manager for the llms uh, we have downloaded the uh, downloaded our deep seek coder model we which we would be using as a coding assistant we'll just uh, type in by as this is command to hit uh, to get out of the running context so now we'll just clear it we'll just create a new folder i'll just create i'll be just creating in my desktop directory hmm. where the name llm codes okay so if i go into llm codes and start code dot it is basically command to start vs code else you can directly open a folder in your vs code to start new okay so we can see we are in llm codes so in the vs code extension you can search for the continue extension so what continue is it is basically labeled as open source ai coding assistant it is basically a wrapper or a, we can say a chat window which is provided in VS Code. After installing it, it opens and lets you to connect to the different models available locally or you can provide your API key for example the OpenAI provider and the selecting model the api key which you would be having and it would uh, need internet for functioning so right now we are not going with that approach we would be going with the approach of us running llm locally using the deep seek model and configuring it into the continue extension so that we can help with our uh, we can uh, basically what we do is we can run our code or uh, get help from the deep seek model the coder model without internet okay so let's get started for it you can add a new model you you need to create a click on the add new model select provider as olama model as auto detect you can also like toggle to the different model which is uh, downloaded for example deep seek code is downloaded but we'll just keep it auto detect as of now connect it so you can see the config.yaml file for the uh, continue extension so its name of the project version schema and stuff so the main thing is models so you can see auto detect olama this is basically the repetitive part but auto detect olama so it has been detected correctly after that automatically deep seek uh, coder latest would be displayed here it was already configured so it got already displayed but it is like the same process after that if you click uh, type and click enter so the model will respond hello how can i assist you today so what happens is the olama opens a port for example on your local machine local host some port so it opens a port via which different application can access the running model LLM model which is installed on your local machine so by that the continue extension can access our model okay so I'll just show you I'll just create a main.py file 
clear it or not clear sorry it is not a terminal of those print something i the next is adding a variable variable a not a 10 plus 12 adding some numbers storing it and print okay so if we go to the continue extension starting a new chat not uh, we'll just continue with it as of now uh, if we like if you want to tag some file we can do at the rate it will show the files for tagging clicking it it can it will show the current files in the current directory uh, for example the current one is main.py okay if i type in what is included in this file so and hit enter okay so it will tell uh, the python script the directory contains the line of code and stuff hi is printed the variable name and all that so by that we can see our model is finally configured and it is correct uh, running correctly so by that you don't need to have the internet access for running the models you can like directly download it on your local machine but there is a limitation so right now the model which is downloaded on your local machine has some x parameters x billion of parameters for example so depending on the parameters model get advanced and can quickly adapt or have the more tokens tokens in the sense you can feed more characters into the model for the response and stuff so by that the complexity also increases your hardware requirements also matters and stuff like that so but this was the general idea so that was it it is still running or it is okay you can ask basically different questions you can generate a code for example i need a uh, i need bubble sort code in python it will go bubble sort code and that is it so the same thing you can do from chat gpt uh, a web ui you can say uh, you can say you can do same on the uh, via local lms open source obviously so yeah it gave it so that was it thank you